Hello there Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we are taking a look at one of the first Star Wars Rebels figures that are currently available at the market. And it is this 20 inch Kanan Jarrus action figure. If I mangled his last name, forgive me for that. Um, this is definitely a really cool action figure, very big, very detailed. And I purchased this at Walmart for $19.99. Very cool. Uh, let's take a look at the whole um, packaging, I suppose. A little small packaging, but uh, um, as you can see, the packaging is actually smaller than the actual figure itself. But on one side, we have the Disney logo. On the other side, we have the Star Wars Rebels animated series logo, which is basically letting you know that this character in particular is from the new Rebels uh, animated series. Then we have a really nice Rebels uh, design, which is basically going to be used for the new packaging for the 3-inch figures, as well as Mission Series and Saga Legends. You have the Star Wars logo, ages 3 and up. The character's name and last name, how many inches he is, so 19 inches. The Stormtrooper design, same thing on both sides. Okay. On the back here, we have a really, really cool image of Kanan, his name at the top. The seven points articulation and a uh, lightsaber included, and uh, a bio on him right there. And these are the three characters that are available in Wave One: Kanan, Ezra, and the Tie Fighter pilot. Collect them all. So that is it for the packaging. So first things first. Now that I've got Kanan out of the packaging, let's go over his articulation. This figure has seven points of articulation, so he has a swivel head, which basically just moves uh, side to side. Swivel arms, which just move up and down. Uh, he has swivel wrists, which is great, on both sides. And lastly, he basically has swivel legs. They don't really go out that far or back for that much, um, but that's okay. I don't think it really needs to you know go all out or whatnot so the next thing is the detail on this action figure and the main reason I bought this figure was for the detail it's a 20 inch figure so you would expect that any company that's doing these figures would do a good job and they seriously did a good job Jack specific just went all out with these figures and I really like this Kanan a lot for the detail if you take a close look at it the face sculpt I think is you know as close as it can get to uh, how the character looks in the TV series looks really good the paint details there the eyes are very nicely detailed if you go down further into the uh, uh, lower body and whatnot it's nicely painted sculpted I really like this whole thing that's going down this kind of armor that he has on his right side of his uh, arm and a little bit here it's just so cool nicely detailed his belt looks nice too pouches. His lightsaber hilt isn't all that detailed. I mean, it is, excuse me, it's just not, um, it's not painted. It's just all one color, and I don't think, I'm pretty sure it's not all just one color uh, from the clips that are online and all that stuff. I have a little paint smudge there, but it's no big deal. Comlink can also be painted up. I, I think I'll do that on my own later on. Keep on going down his pants and all this, his boots, they're all really nice. Bunch of holes back here. So details really, 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 really good. Now uh, the only accessory that this figure includes is this lightsaber blade. It's a decent size. I think it's a little bit on the short range, but nothing major. And it has this little black spot that way you can put it into the uh, actual hilt here so as you can see here the lightsaber blade fits in nicely all you gotta do is tuck it in there and it fits spot on it doesn't fall off it stays nice and stiff so you're in a good spot but all in all I have to say this Kanan figure is really good I highly recommend uh, all of you guys picking it up if you see it at stores I've seen them twice already I've seen them once at Walmart and once at Toys R Us um, I believe they're like a dollar or two dollars more at Toys R Us than other retailers, but 
you know, wherever you guys find them first, I definitely recommend you guys picking it up because it's it, it's a really good addition to your collection. And, uh, you know, we don't have the 3-inch Rebels figures out just yet. So, you know, this definitely, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, uh, it, it makes you anxious to be able to collect all the other figures. I know there's the 20-inch Ezra, which I want to pick up. I did see them at Toys R Us, but I'm hoping to see them at, say, a Walmart or Target. Um, and pick them up then for a couple dollars less, of course. <laughs> but uh, Ezra's really good looking too, the TIE Fighter pilot. Oh, this 20 inch line definitely has some uh, good qualities, and kudos to Jack Specific for doing so. But uh, I would like to definitely hear uh, your thoughts about um, this review and the action figure itself, so please make sure to comment below. Subscribe to my channel for many, many, many more reviews to come if you guys haven't already. I will be reviewing some new Black Series figures that I've obtained this past week. Uh, so make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well for all my latest updates. So thanks again for watching, guys. And until next time, may the Force be with you.